so if <coughs> input dot get key open bracket key code dot space close bracket close bracket open bracket <coughs> open curly brace sorry and the direction we want to put a jump in is in the y so move direction dot y equals jump speed great now we've got the jump defined now we've got the basic stuff sorted out so allowing our player to move left and right up and down and jump now we want to apply gravity to our player so underneath this closing bracket um, color brace sorry type in move direction dot y minus equals gravity times time dot delta time so we want our player to fall on the y axis now the most important variable here is the controller now this script only works if there's a character controller applied to it so we need to make sure that we have one attached to it so var controller is equals to get component not get components get component get components mean more than one we just want to get one component so it's going to be equal to our character controller ah actually here's the difference in java we put open bracket in C sharp we put the greater than and less than sign so less than character controller and then the greater than sign and then the close bracket open bracket and close bracket and then close it that's how you would write that in C sharp that's the, probably the only difference other than that our code is exactly the same and beside the variables we defined above and then we defined our flags so var flag is equals to our controllers dot move open bracket move direction times time dot delta time save that and let's apply this to the grounded function so grounded equals open bracket flags it's not capital flags and collision flags dot collided below close bracket apostrophe sign equals zero there we go our FPS input script is completed in C sharp and let's test if it works go into your new game project and drag your new script onto your main player and go to your main player and turn off the JavaScript just to check if the C sharp one is working let me just remove that and let's just run our game and it should work fantastic there we go but we just create the same script in C sharp and there wasn't much difference yeah so we've created our FPS input script using C sharp and that's for it that's about it for today and tomorrow I'm going to be uploading the tutorials on how to make a gun shoot and also how to prevent it prevent it from going through walls like this I will show you as you can see as soon as I walk next to the wall my gun won't go through it anymore it's gonna stay away there we go
There we go, guys. So there's a gun in action as well. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.